I've got to ask you about this university lecturer. Uh, she claims she's got a relationship with your area in the Hunter. She slammed you, Joel, over your support for the coal industry in an article in the SMH, Sydney Morning Herald. She's a PhD candidate, Felicity McCallan. She says that you don't represent her and you're all about perniciously exploiting Hunter residents about uh, the climate change debate. And it so happens, Peter, that I, I know her and her family very well. It's a family steeped in the coal mining industry. So, look, she's entitled to her view and I respect it. But, you know, I still live in the region and I won't stop representing uh, the many families in the Hunter region who rely upon the coal mining industry for their family income. She dismisses the 11,500 people who work directly in the industry as if that's a small number uh, and it doesn't matter. I mean, those people working uh, in those 11,500 jobs certainly believe they are important jobs, not to mention, as she failed to do, the 60,000 additional jobs that come indirectly uh, from the industry, whether they be closely associated through manufacturing or the local sandwich shop in Musselbrook or Singleton. So I disagree with her um, and um, good on her for having a go, but I still live there. She's in Canberra, um, you know, in a, a sort of social uh, discipline at the university. Uh, I'm on the ground and I know what's, in, what's important to our local people. And what's this split inside uh, the right faction with uh, you and Mark Dreyfus over... Labor's opposition to the government's plan to put gas inside the big pocket of money or the big bucket of money that is the Clean Energy Finance Corporation. You're copying it everywhere. What's going on? By the way, Peter, I should have said the, the, the diversity of the Hunter's economy has grown enormous and we've got an, an enormous pipeline of, of renewable projects happening in the Hunter region as well. Oh, but look, Mark Butler and I just like disagreeing, don't we? And a little secret... Peter, the, the party doesn't always follow my advice. It often does, but sometimes uh, we disagree. But I have a simple formula for opposition. You never let the perfect get in the way of the possible. Uh, it, the government has a bill. It might not be the way we would do things, but we are in opposition. And my view is that we should be supporting the bill. Mark Dreyfus has a different view, but what he demonstrated in that meeting yesterday is that he doesn't really understand the bill. He hasn't studied the bill. Is anyone going to get mugged by reality, Campbell? You've come out of the military before politics. You can see how volatile our region is here. This is the, the last time in our history, really, that we should be thinking about de-industrialising, you know, not making steel in Australia, uh, perilling sort of our balance sheet. Why on earth are we headed down this path? Peter, look, I have this sense at the moment that the, the, the sort of the... The, the, the leaders of Australia, the, the, the smart people everywhere, uh, in business, in politics, clearly uh, uh, in the media, have all lost the proverbial. They have really lost it because they're talking blithely now and with gay abandon about, you know, we're going to go to net zero and it's just, well, is it a hard target or how quickly, etc. And there is absolutely no recognition that there are huge impacts on certain parts of this country, regional Australia, of course, places like the Hunter, places like central Queensland. And I am getting increasingly infuriated with the Liberal Party as well uh, because they, they are selling out uh, those people in the regions. You know, I mean, I'm in the LNP in Queensland. I'm becoming every day closer to the N side of it, having started on the L side of it, because, you know, I'm, I'm with people like Joel Fitzgibbon, and people like Matt Canavan, who actually want to speak truth about this. Where we're going is reckless, um, it is dangerous, and it is not being pro and it has not been properly thought through. And I would encourage people in those regions to make their views known if they're concerned about this to their MPs and senators. All right, well, I tell you what, the three of us are a bit of a unity ticket. We might have to start our own party. Newman, Fitzgibbon and Credlin. There you go. That, I'm sure that's got some we head might, scratching there in we camera. Might even, <laughs> we, might, we might even become the recipients of an award, Peter. Who knows? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> We've got to stuff it up royally and kill a lot of people by the look of it. Anyway, got to leave it there, gentlemen. Thank you for your time.